Why is everyone afraid of Stalker 2? Since the first Stalker 2 trailer was released over two years ago, we've been constantly warned that the game might be bad. But I understand why everyone is worried. Almost all the games that were once considered legendary and filled our childhood with memories are now, frankly, declining. Take for example Assassin's Creed. It was one of my favorite gaming franchises ever, but it's not what it used to be. It has lost what made it unique. From Assassin's Creed 2, one of the best games in the series, to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is just another generic RPG requiring a 300 hour grind to complete, the series has changed significantly. And it's not just Assassin's Creed. Nearly all games today look and feel the same, as if they are one game with slightly different flavors. But in the 2000s, each game was unique, which is why we loved them so much. Stalker was never considered a AAA game, as everyone has heard countless times, but it is a game that is incredibly unique and marked the 2000s era of gaming. We can even say that Stalker is an experiment that accidentally succeeded, especially considering its long and strange development process. Stalker is one of those games that doesn't hold the player's hand the whole time, and doesn't revolve around the player. It's a game where the atmosphere and the world are more important than the player themselves. And that's exactly why many people are worried about Stalker 2, which is three months away from release. People fear that it won't be the same Stalker we all know and love. However, I believe we shouldn't worry. The studio behind this franchise, GSC Game World, is experienced and has one of the most dedicated fan bases. They are fully aware of what they need to do and what their fans want. Just look at the Stalker modding scene. Every mod is similar in a way. Almost no mod completely changes the core game. You're still in the zone, it's still unforgiving, and you're still just another nobody with a gas mask in a sea of other characters with gas masks. They understand what people want from Stalker 2, and what they expect. I think Stalker will remain the hardcore survival experience it always was. This is supported by the trailers. The latest trailer shows locations from the old games that look almost the same. This demonstrates that the developers are making an effort to ensure Stalker 2 retains the same feel as the previous games. Oh man, it warms my heart to see Rostock with new life in it. Some people think that the graphics may not look in-game like they do in the trailer. Uh, I don't know about that, but I don't really care much for graphics anyway. I've always been more about well-executed gameplay and good world storytelling rather than the graphics. As far as I'm concerned, the graphics don't have to be exactly like they are in the trailer. Oh, and there was also talk that people might expect Stalker 2 to be like Anomaly, meaning a sandbox game similar to Anomaly. I really don't think there's any need to worry about that. Again, the developers know what they're doing and are aware that Anomaly is a mod and won't use it as inspiration for the main game mechanics. Overall, I think we shouldn't worry about Stalker 2. It's going to be a great game. With only three months left until its release, it's the perfect time to replay the original Stalker trilogy. With that in mind, see you in the next video. And good hunting, Stalker.